He said to them, he put clay on my eyes and I washed and I see. Therefore, some of the Pharisees said, this man is not from Elohim because he does not guard the Shabbat. Others said, how is a man who is a sinner able to do such miracles? And there was a division among them. So they said to the blind one again, what do you say about him? Because he opened your eyes. And he said, he is a Navi, he is a priest. However, the Yaudim did not believe concerning him that he had been blind and received his sight. So they called the parents of him who had received his sight. And they asked them, saying, Is this your son, who you say was born blind? How then does he now see? His parents answered them and said, We know that this is our son, yes, and that he was born blind. But how he now sees, we do not know. Or who opened his eyes, we don't know. He is of age, ask him. He shall speak concerning himself. His parents said this because they were afraid of Yahudim, for the Yahudim had already agreed that if anyone confessed that he was Mashiach, he should be put out of the congregation. Because of this, his parents said, He is of age, ask him. So for the second time, they called the man who was blind and said to him, Give esteem to Yahweh God. We know that this man is a sinner. Then he answered and said, Whether he is a sinner, I do not know. I only know that I was blind, and now I see. And they asked him once more, What did he do to you? How did he open your eyes? He answered them, I have told you already, and you did not hear. Why do you want to hear it again? Do you want to become his Talmudim too? And they abused him and said, You are his Tal Talmud. But we are his Talmudim of Moshe. We know Elohim has spoken to Moshe, but this one, we don't know where he is from. The man answered and said to them, Why? This is a wonder. You do not know where he is from, yet he opened my eyes. And we know that Elohim does not hear sinners. But if anyone reverses Elohim and does his desire, he hears them. From of old it has never been heard that anyone opened the eyes of one who was born blind. If this one were not from Elohim, he could have not done it. They answered and said to him, You were completely born in sins, and are you teaching us? And they cast him out. Yahushua heard that they had cast him out. And when he had found them, he said to him, Do you believe in the son of Elohim? He answered and said, who is he, Adonai, that I might believe in him? And Yahushua said to him, You have both seen him, and he who speaks with you is he. And he said, Adonai, I believe, and bowed before him. And Yahushua said, For judgment I have come into this world, that those not seeing might see, and those seeing might become blind. Mm. And those of the Pharisees who were with him heard these words, and said to him, Are we blind too? And Yahushua said to them, If you were blind, you would have no sin. But now you say, We see. Therefore, your sin remains. That's Yohanan chapter 1 through 3, and then we went from 7 to 10. I want to thank everyone who joined me for this reading. I'm going to be doing a lot more of this on my Patreon and a couple other platforms. Again, there will be gifts for the first couple of subscribers. I'm excited to move on. And I will bring a couple of these antidotes every now and then. This will be officially the music channel of albums because uh, that seems just to be more protected and safe. I don't feel like... I'm being spiritually raped. You're welcome. And Sam Samana. Um, and I still have yet to tell my story, which I'm very excited about. So thank you for your patience. I hope that you all take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and always give gratitude to the Most High. And always give gratitude to our Mashiach, Yahusha. Hallelujah. But I understand his story. There's only a few people in the chat. But if you had my face to look at, and clothes, flashy clothes to look at, and all these other bright, attentive things in the flesh, 
I would have your attention. So there's much work that needs to be done because you weren't born to live in your flesh. You were born to live in your spirit. And it just shows me how, um, how living in your flesh has completely decapitated the mind and the spirit. So I hope that most of us get through this. I know I'm going to. <laughs> we praise Yahusha and the Hallelujah Scriptures for making sure that these books get to the right people and this message gets to the right people. Um, I'm not very happy with how YouTube has handled my channel, but I do want to thank YouTube for the platform and for whoever this message gets to. Hallelujah. May it help them. And may it be received in good caring. And I put protection in the healing eye over my channel and my words today in the Ruach HaKadosh and I know that my beloved ancestors and the beloved messengers of the Shamaim and Yahusha Mashiach and my father Abiyah are watching and protecting me and guiding me so with that being said thank you very much join me on my other channel at KT Music Production, Productions and join me at Patreon where we can get a little deeper and private and more open and more explicit in detail about the really really awesome private things about life that I think are like a hidden treasure on earth even though it's right in front of us hallelujah and blessings to you shalom this is Kimberly Thompson have a good night